You certainly seem to have some nice things, Scout beamed at Lagana. This seems like a raindrop caught on the leaf, though bigger and harder. It does make looking at things easier. Now Scout can tell things he couldn't see before. Scout thought whatever was drag made contact with the ground in two places, but now he sees this is not so. There were actually four places of contact, yet two of these on each side were so close to each other to be the same until I see through the raindrop. Scout would say that it was something like a heavy table that was taken from here and moved outside, though what it could be, Scout is still unsure. Gala was fairly sure that Scout's conclusion was accurate. Though he couldn't distinguish between the double marks that Scout had mentioned, he didn't doubt that it was true. What could have been removed in the room, and why wait till quite recently to remove it, was certainly to remain a mystery. Gallo now thought that he should check on the supplies to see what had been taken by the settlers and what had actually been left behind. Supplies hadn't been ransacked, whatever had been taken had been neatly removed and everything else had been tidied away for later or for someone else to use. Gallo informed Scout that he was going to check on what items had been left behind and what had been taken according to the list that he'd found. The first thing to spot, and the easiest and most obvious, all the clothes, tents and other protective gear had been taken. All these were fairly obvious as to their purpose and would have been immediately useful so they would have been the first to go. Then most of the farming items had gone as well, though there were some items left behind. Next to the farming items were some seeds and again it seemed the vast majority of these had been taken. It could be that some of the seeds had been left in case of a poor harvest, they questioned they'd still be viable after all this time, even sealed up as they were. The medical items seemed virtually untouched, except for large bandages and wound dressings. Everything else seemed to be left behind. Carlo postulated that without medical knowledge, these items indeed could have been more harm than good. So it's probably sensible for the settlers not to tamper with them. Still, some of the items may be used later if they were still viable. However, for now, Carlo would leave those alone. The weaving machine, the potter's wheel, who seemed to have been taken along with most of the craft tools which had an obvious function. Those items that were left behind seem to be slightly more advanced tools or ones whose function wouldn't have been initially obvious. All other tools such as axes, hammers, spades and similar items have also been taken. Gala came to the conclusion that with somewhat impaired memories, those items which the Forsaken could use relatively easily discern their function and take them and use. Those which they could not be tidied away for a later day so they might use them. It's meant as far as Gala could determine whatever their state when they'd landed these people had quickly adapted and didn't panic. They organised themselves, they planned their next actions. Gala had to admire them. They did show unusual organisational skills and ability to cope with adversity. At no time, at least from what he could see, become selfish or aggressive towards each other.